And let's try another event for the crane, the crane script. And now it, can, it activates with the key space. And let's delete this one. And let's try this one on start. And this means that when we enable the scripts, immediately the scripts is proceeding. So let's try it. Now it's the start. And enable scripts. And now from scratch it's, it's going to move. Disable, it's OK. And another option is to make a timer. To make a timer, like this one, on timer, after once, interval maybe 3 seconds, and let's play it. And after 3 seconds, after enabling the scripts, it began. So it's pretty simple. And if you need more than one event, more than one conditions to start your animation, you can edit. OK, now we have on timer and let's add on key press and move it up. And then let's choose the space button and key pressed. And now let's enable scripts. And now I'll press the space button and only after 3 seconds after that the animation begins. OK, we have to change one small thing. Go to on timer and once after not continuous. And now enable scripts and let's press And now it's moving. So you can more than one condition to activate your animation or to activate one of your actions and to combine them. When you have a lot of scripts, it's useful to organize your options and your process how to activate them in a row of one and then another and another one.